Hey guys, good morning. This is Mike. It's Saturday morning. I think I'll do a little walkthrough for you of the uh, garage where I get to do most of my work. So what we're looking at here is uh, I've got a three car garage. On this side over here <clears throat> is where we park our cars. On this side over here is where I do my work. Now if you look, down on the ground here, there's a, uh, a crack in the floor. And what my wife and I have come to an agreement on is that anything from this side of the crack is basically the third bay. And that's where I'm allowed to do my projects. So I try and keep everything that I'm working on on this side. Um, the motorcycles, that's a little bit of a gray area. Um, the Ninja right now, I'm, I've been riding that to work on a daily basis. So when I come home from work, I'll park this real close to the car over here just to give me some work, some room to work on the bug over here. Um, but if I'm not if I'm not riding that to work, I'll actually I'll take the Ninja and I'll press it up as tight to the bug as I can. So I got the one bay to work here, so I need to be pretty conscientious of space. So although it looks it looks like a mess. Um, there's actually, I think, some pretty good organization happening here. Now the dirt bike, if I'm working over at the workbench, I'll slide the dirt bike over here and put it right in front of the car, which is fine because when I'm when I'm done working on it, <clears throat> when I'm done working on the workbench, I'll slide the dirt bike back. But let me run through real quick what I've got to work with here. Um, I've got the bug. I've got carpet down on the floor. This is just some remnants that I got from work. Carpeting's real nice because if you need to be rolling underneath the vehicle or anything like that, it's it's a lot cleaner and easier and not as cold. Uh, right here I've got a Lincoln Electric 110 volt flux core or MIG welder. I use that I use that a lot. Um, you can't you can't see it right now, but on the other laying on the floor on the other side of the bug over there is a turbo torch 110 volt plasma cutter. I use that a lot as well. I've got my toolbox right here, which has all sorts of tools in it. Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty good with my tools, so pretty much if I get a tool, I'm gonna have that thing for the rest of my life. So I've got a lot going on on there. In the top of the box, I've got battery chargers and manuals and paperwork and miscellaneous garbage. The workbench here, you got your standard pegboard back there with miscellaneous crap laying. On the top here, I've got a piece of eighth inch steel, uh, which makes it real nice for working on things, especially if I'm TIG welding. I can use this kind of like a welding table. Uh, underneath the bug right now, I've got my tubing bender. It doesn't usually reside here, but this is where it is right now. That's my uh, tubing bender. It usually, it usually gets stored underneath the workbench here. Although, since I'm working on the A-arm front suspension right now, I'm hiding the front wheels for the bug where that goes. And since the bug is up on jack stands and I'm not rolling it out right now, just for space, I've been pushing the uh, tubing bender underneath the bug, but normally the tubing bender goes underneath the workbench. If you look up top, I've got some shelving units. There's an empty space right up here. On the shelves, that's where if I'm not using my MIG welder or the plasma cutter, that's where they get stored. That keeps them up and out of the way. Up there I've got my Craftsman air compressor. I had to mount that up high for, for space reasons, obviously. And then I've got a separate regulator down here and then 100 feet of hose so I can run this hose. I can work on anything in the garage here or I can run it out to the front lawn or I can run it around to the backyard. I've got I've got multiple options with that. Um, I think that's about it. I mean I've got a lot of a lot of crap piled up on the on the sides. I've got some some scissor jacks over here hanging up on the wall. I've actually got four of those. Those are really nice for leveling out the the bug or whatever you're working on and like the front end of is held up by two of those right now while I'm working on the front end. Um, but for the most part, this is it. It's a really small space. Um, 
on a lot of my videos, you'll see me working on the floor or doing what I can. Um, but the moral of the story is, it's all the room that I have. So if I want to do anything, I've got to make make do with, with what I have. So I also have a little workbench outside behind the garage here, which I'll go show you. And then I've got a couple workbenches down in the basement with a drill press and a bandsaw and a brake and a punch. So when I can, I do a lot of my fabricating down there. So I'll, I'm gonna go take you to the backyard, show you what I got over there, and then I'll take you down in the basement and show you what I got up, what I got down there. Okay, so now I'm outside in the backyard. Um, I'm literally standing right behind the third bay of the garage. If I go through that gate, I'll be right at the garage um, for the, the third bay where I work on the bug, which is kind of nice because I'm working back here. I'll have the, the garage door open and I'll have that gate open and I can just walk around. So I've got a crappy little workbench here that I do a, a lot of grinding on, a lot of sandblasting, some welding. I do have, that right there is a 110 volt outlet. So if I'm doing some, some lighter welding, I can come out here and do that, which is nice because then I can do it over the rocks because I try not to do any actual welding in the garage. I'll do some tacking, I'll do some welding if I need to, but I try and do most of the welding on the driveway or out here just to keep it cleaner in the garage. I've got a garbage can here that I really just use for uh, like a stand when I'm spray painting things. I've got some Volkswagen parts there. Underneath that five gallon bucket is my sandblaster. And then uh, that little hole in the wall right there is where I can run my compressed air hose from the air compressor out here so that I can do my sandblasting. I do almost all my sandblasting out here because that makes such a mess. I've done a little bit of sandblasting on the driveway, but oh my gosh, cleaning that up. It's, it's important when you're trying to work with such a limited space to keep the mess to a minimum for the neighbors, and for your wife so I really try and do my sandblasting back here because out here if the if the sand falls into the rocks I mean I, I don't care it's that's fine and in this neighborhood these houses are really close together so I try and keep my uh, my mess and dirt down to a minimum so this is the outside area I'll do what I can out here it's nice in the winter out here because the sun really shines so it'll, it'll be significantly warmer back here than it is out on the driveway so Sometimes I'll work back here just for that reason, but this is it. So now I'll take you down to the basement and show you what I got there. All right, so now I'm down in the basement. It's not a very big house, so it's not a very big basement, but um, I need the space because I can't, I can't work out in the garage every day, all day. So sometimes I do what I can down here because uh, it's nice down here. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a shelf with some of my radio controlled cars on it. It's got nothing to do with the bug. Over here is one workbench I have that I made that's got a sink in the middle of it, which is really nice. A little table back there just for crap. I've got my 3D printer. And over here I've got my other workbench. On this workbench I've got a lot of my measuring tools. So I'll do a lot of uh, little fabrication like making shock mounts and things like that. I'll measure those all out here and clean them up and I'll actually do quite a bit of work right here. I uh, put the engine together for the bug right here. I got a little TV up there where I can watch or listen to some DVDs as I'm working. It's it's, it's pretty nice. When I when I can get something down here and, and work on it, I, I do because it's it's very pleasant working down here. So I've got that workbench. I've got this table, which is more of a catch-all. Um, this workbench slash cleaning area, I, I don't do a lot of actual work in here. I more stage things and things like that, and then do more of the assembly in the building over there. And then if I come to the other side here, over here I've got a, a, a small, pretty light-duty handbrake, although it's really good for doing like 05 volt aluminum for body panels and whatnot. So it's pretty handy for that. I've got your standard Harbor Freight press here, which is a, a pretty cheap unit, but 
I'll be honest with you, I, I use it a lot and it, it works pretty well, so I, I can't knock that too much. This is my Craftsman drill press. I've had this thing uh, since high school and I've used it a ton. It's getting pretty beat up. I might need to replace it at some point, but uh, I, do, I do so much drilling with that. It's not even funny. On this table over here, I've got two mills. That's a mill. That's a mill. That's a lathe, a little tiny lathe. These are all little hobby machinist pieces of equipment that I really use for the radio controlled car stuff. Um, but I have, I have used it a little bit on the bug. If I have a small part that I need to work on for the bug, especially if it's made out of aluminum, I'll use these for it. Um, so you might see me using these occasionally, but for the most part, this is for my radio controlled hobbies. I've got a, uh, <clears throat> a grinder there that I got handed down from my dad. It might be older than me. I use that quite a bit. I've got my bandsaw here, which I use a ton. That's pretty old as well. I can't even, can't even imagine how much metal that thing's cut. I've got a, a shelf over here, which is really just a catch-all for pieces of metal as I'm band, band sawing. Uh, more crap. A tote that's got some cleaning agents in it, I think. Some scrap metal, some Volkswagen bug doors. Here's a hand hand operated uh, shear. This is pretty nice for cutting thinner gauge metal if it's a, a smaller piece. Here I've got my punch. Um, this is one of the greatest tools I own. You'll see this in numerous videos and the accuracy that this thing can do with for holes and the speed that it can do them with is unbelievable. So whenever I can, I use this to punch the holes. If I need, to, if I'm making some odd sized holes, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll mark out and punch the holes with the hole punch and then move over to the drill press, make the holes bigger to the size that I need with the drill press, but that way I get the pilot holes with the accuracy of the hole punch. And then the, the workbench that these things are on is a, is a nice quarter inch plate workbench, so it's, it's real sturdy. And then I've got a, uh, a little vise there. Uh, that's about it. So when you see some videos with me working in the basement, um, it's probably right about here where I'm doing that work. But this is where I do what I can when I'm working on smaller stuff. So thanks for taking a tour of my shop. Talk to you later.